Hello everyone and welcome to another best of three in the Intel Extreme Masters Season 1 group stage. This is going to be, at least for uh, Play Day 1, the concluding chapter of Group C. And it is spawning here in the top left to spawn position on Echo Eyes in yellow. Naps, the Russian player, in this case playing with human, uh, I think pretty much capable of playing all the races on a similar level and I think there was a slight tendency that he used to play Night Elf you know slightly more often than the other three races but going into a best of three or generally into games against Naps you never really knew um, for certain what race you were gonna face so in this case it's human and he's gonna go for an early lumber mill together with this uh, Altar first, of course, in a delayed barracks, so he's gonna have a little bit more lumber early on, uh, footman production is gonna be delayed by a little bit, so work. usually what you'd see with that is um, a done. quick tech, because, Job you know, done. since a fast expansion is also lumber heavy, um, you know, you also wanna have enough units around early on to uh, defend that, so... I guess a quick tech is more likely by Naps. By the way, AM against Blade Master. And his opponent here spawning in the top right spawn position in dark green is the Swedish Orc player Elake Duck. And as mentioned, he starts with Blade Master first with the burrow with the barracks. Completely standard build by him so far. Also the Blade Master by Elake Duck. Not a huge surprise. As he was one of the players who really uh, preferred the Blade Master especially against Hume a lot early on compared to the Farseer because after uh, there we see the Scout Tower which is probably going to be upgraded to an Arcane Tower yeah there it is after the Arcane Tower got buffed and did not only do uh, mana burn to heroes but also additional damage to summons he really didn't make a secret out of the fact that he hated that um, change a lot and Therefore, he thought Farseer was pretty useless against Human early on, at least compared to, you know, how how useful he was uh, prior to that patch. And therefore, Electac often decided not to play the Farseer against uh, humans. So first, creep camps being taken here. AM um, got a tome. Actually, didn't pay attention what tome it was. Blade Master gets Ring of Protection. A shop being built down here. Uh, with the Blade Master and the Grunts, he can creep, uh, maybe only the Nor Brood, then get Saffs and head down to the, uh, Goblin Merchant in order to get the Boots of Speed, the AM, at the same time. Continues creeping with 3 Militia here, actually, let's see, he did start tech already, uh, Elect Duck did start taking as well, and there you can definitely see the effect of that early Lumber Mill, uh, he's got a bit of a tech advantage compared to the Orc, which is not usually the case, especially when going for the Arcane Tower before the tech, but in this case, um, you know, that's just the current situation. So both of the players heading down to um, the Goblin Merge to get the Boots of Speed, it's 18.30 right now, so both of them will be in time to get the boots and we'll see who is, you know, going to end up getting it. Elect doesn't, <laughs> doesn't even have the gold, though now he sold the ring in order to get the gold, but the AM got the boots of speed nevertheless. Uh, so that's gonna make it really hard for Electac to uh, do anything to this AM. He could maybe try and chase down Footman, but even that is gonna be really hard with only Footman. And of course, since he basically lost the spam battle here for the boots of speed, Electac is making it his mission to let everyone know that he's probably got the ping disadvantage in um, this game. So Militia pulled again, not really sure what he wants with those. Maybe just uh, have them to defend here against the Blade Master. And yeah, now with the AM moving away, maybe taking like one or two hits too many. So let's see, tech-wise, still a bit to go for both of the players. Electax third burrow. Is he not building it? Ah, okay, he's building it in the very back of his base. Maybe was afraid of some aggression by Naps. Didn't occur, at least so far. Blade Master might continue going for the AM, but as mentioned, like without the boots of speed, this is completely pointless unless he gets us around or some amazing blocking done with a grunt, which apparently he's gonna attempt to do now. Critical strike on the AM, 88 damage, and that's already gonna make harassment pretty difficult, at least in the next, say, uh, minute or so. 
And that's when Elite Dark's tier 2 is gonna finish, so it's gonna be an important period of time. Uh, in this game, tier 2 finished for Naps right now. He's got one farm to a uh, few, not anymore in order to get a second hero. He is around the tavern, so he could pick up B uh, Beastmaster probably. And he's gonna get aggressive now. Blade Master in the meantime did get the boots of speed, so the AM is gonna have to be even more careful. Like, if he doesn't pay attention for like two or three seconds, he could take some very crucial hits. TC second by Lake Duck as well as a Beast Tree. And second PN is waiting down here, so maybe he's gonna try and hide the second tier 2 building. Because as it appears right now, the Beast Tree is probably not even gonna come up. AM has to run to the bottom right now. Another Quill Beast being spawned by the Beastmaster. And he's just going at it with full force against this Beast Tree. And he's gonna be able to cancel it. Electra like, waiting for as long as possible. Of course, it's gonna co cost him a lot of resources, but at the same time, he's gonna win some time. But it's probably not gonna be enough to save his second Beast Tree from being cancelled. Let's see, the Footman gets chased down. TC second is out right now. And Electra. Electra does get the cancel in in time. <laughs> Another attempt on the, on this beast tree by him. In the meantime, double arcane sanctum is already finished for naps, so looking very good so far. Uh, yeah, this time he might not be able to get the cancel on the beast tree. As the first cool, cool beast is about to run out, the second one is retreating right now. Blade Master is chasing down the uh, beast master actually, and he's. Okay, he doesn't have a shop, so he's probably gonna get him. But there is a sorceress around for slow against the Blade Master. And he gets it out just in time before the Blade Master uses Wundwalk, giving the Beast Master enough time to even get a heal potion bought here and used. So actually, he doesn't get the Beast Master killed. So thus, you know, finishes this pretty good early game for Naps. Maybe the Footman could get killed. PM still has boots, got the speed scroll, he's got a Windwalk, so there's no danger of him, uh, you know, falling here at all. Grunt's heading down towards the bottom right corner to join the TC in uh, his Creeping Endeavor, which is going to give him level 2 because he's got a bit of experience from repelling the harassment of his opponent already. And Double Beast is up for Elect Duck. And he's gonna start with the Ensnare upgrade and a Raider, so no uh, like instant wind riders or so, so yeah, we're gonna see mass raiders. That's gonna be interesting to say the least. Definitely not the standard approach in uh, trying to fight back the humans tier 2 pressure. So Ogre Magi about to fall T2, uh, TC level 2 as mentioned. Heal salves have been bought by him so he can at least heal up. But he said, you know, 41 supply even against only 37. But three, four sorcerers are in place. Ivory Tower is being bought here by Naps. And uh, the, uh, the Blade Master is gonna head across the map here. And so is the TC with the, together with the rest of the army. So it looks like he might wanna go for a base trade or at least exchange, uh, exchange town portals. There is a town portal on the AM. At least exchange town portals in order to get some time to kill these towers. He's researching pillage right now, which is of course the classic timing just as you already hit the human base. Let's see TC probably shockwave coming in here. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. So he's gonna kill the entire economy of Naps, uh, who's just suffering from the fact that humans just never close their base back at that time. The peons actually could still repair you, but the Buru is on full HP. The other Buru got, got taken down. The Altar is gonna fall. First tower has been cancelled, but the other two towers will come up at the same time. All the peasants have fallen, apparently. From Naps, the Arcane Tower is gonna fall as well, and as he's gonna go for the keep, we're gonna see if um, Naps is gonna decide to town portal. I mean, if he gets all the Burrows killed, or just as it is right now, he's gonna win a lot of time in which Electax is not gonna be able to reproduce stuff, but at the same time, he's gotta basically save this keep unless he wants to, uh, you know continue the game without one and he doesn't have the gold at the moment to build a new one so he's definitely gonna wanna hold this he's bringing the, pe uh, the peasants in to repair here there is a town pot on the blade master and he's gonna try to go for the keep kill before he tps out and he successfully gets it losing a grunt and a raider but killing the keep here definitely a big deal as mentioned um, no gold on naps who just spent his last gold repairing here in the meantime, yeah, the towers will get taken out by the Orc army. Even the grunt of Electag is going down to those growls, uh, to those towers, of course. Micring back, um, slow grunt is always kind of a, you know, 
task that uh, doesn't have a lot of hope of success or not the biggest chance of success to begin with. So he continues mining for now. He's at 32, or excuse me, 23 out of 20 supply even. So Elektak lost almost everything. Getting a great hole in place at the bottom of the map right now. And already, you know, getting closer to uh, level 3 2 right now in Epstatus. Killing a couple more pins right now, of course, in a potential base trade, which apparently this is going to end up being. Killing every worker is uh, huge for either of the players, and so far, none of them has achieved it. Two, three peons apparently still alive. Four peons. The rest here is Grunt. Uh, Grunt's at the same time the Blade Master, together with, uh, you know, Human Army being here at the top right corner. And one, two, three, four, five, six peasants still alive for Naps. And he's sending down these cool beasts, so he's got the right sense apparently. He's gonna find this if he continues moving down there, which apparently he will. And Atisi with the Grunt is not continuing to harass. That's a bit surprising, in my opinion. Maybe he's gonna wanna hide more buildings down in the bottom left corner, just spreading those peons all across the map. But at the same time, his main has gone down. Another peon has fallen. There are five left. Uh, peasant has fallen. There are five left still on the side of Naps. And Lake Dax gotta use the speech core. He's gotta use the heal staff. And... Yeah, creeping has been finished right now by the TC's on the verge of level 3, which of course would be extremely imp important in order to do more damage to the buildings with a level 2 shockwave. So last burrows fallen, two more buildings in the Lake Duck's main base, plus the Great Hall down here, PN here, PN here, and more than 400 gold for the Lake Duck, who's right now, you know, going to get a bit more income thanks to these grunts uh, having pillage, pillage researched. It's like the Blade Master is just going to yeah, regenerate as much mana as possible and maybe continue trying to go for those uh, peasants. Still five alive, as mentioned previously. Great Hall is about to finish here. So that's at least going to buy Electac a bit of time before the uh, reveal comes into play. And of course, for now, it's his last building. So, well, after these two fall. So, therefore, it's also, of course, very important. Blade Master still... Uh, just sticking around the army, it doesn't really use him as much. I mean, if he just stands around here, he could just as well head across the map and kill the humans buildings. But then again, if he did, then he probably expects that uh, Naps will just build something at the top right of the map. So one more pass is going down. Slow is not going on the Blade Master, surprisingly. I guess now he's... Yeah, oh, yeah, now he's gonna do it. Another peasant is ready to be taken out of the game, so three more remaining at the same time. Shop is slowly gonna fall, there's gonna be another shockwave soon, I mean, if he had just two more XP points, would give him so much more damage output, and now as the Great Hall is under attack, Elektak is building another building, which is the Wormel, in the bottom of the map. Curious when that's gonna be scouted. Same time, Blade Master once again, going to approach the human army still want clarity, still plenty of mana on him, and still one, two, weren't there three peasants early on? Okay, apparently only two left. Okay, he's hiding more right now, but there's a peon hiding down here as well, so um, Naps is probably gonna pull that one back pretty soon, since he doesn't wanna give the Blade Master the chance to just pick him off, but apparently uh, picking off or at least keeping track of this peon is more important to him since he seems to realize that there cannot be many buildings remaining for his opponent. Slow going on the Blade Master again. He's got a windwalk actually. Okay, using the speed scroll instead of windwalking. A bit surprising in my opinion because he's got plenty of windwalks remaining. Whereas um, only one speed scroll. So one is about to finish. The Great Hall here has gone down though. So Lake Dark once again down to only one building. Which... Uh, will be revealed soon because, you know, he doesn't have a great hall in position. Is this peon actually stuck down here? That would be quite horrible news for Elect Duck. In the meantime, these guys, of course, take a long, long time. And actually, the human army now is heading back. Apparently, you know, it's going to take him some time and this is until this is going to get revealed. But once it is, then, of course, he's going to be down there pretty quickly. Just scouting with the Quill Beast for now, but he didn't see... The Wormel at the bottom of the base, TC and the Grunts heading back right now. Uh, peasants also heading across the map. 
in order to potentially hide a billion naps. He sold something here, he got 212 gold again. And he sold all his items, so he's gonna have a, a few resources, resources at least. And the Cool Beast has now found the Wormel at the bottom of the map. And both of the heroes, together with the entire army, are heading down there. Blade Master now joins uh, you know, the mission of taking down the last human buildings. But the peon here, uh, the peasant here, is actually gonna scout the new Great Hulk. I mean, I kinda missed that. I was about to say he's gonna build a building there. Okay, that's what he's doing now, building the tower there. Which is, of course, going to face, uh, going to force the Blade Master across the map eventually. And. Ah, okay, he passed the speed scroll from the, from the TC to the Blade Master. I was just confused as to, you know, whether he's got another shop somewhere because he somehow got another speed scroll. So the peon was stuck down here, which is horrible. And the Wormel is going to fall. Great Hall, of course, is still up and coming, so uh, that means that there is no danger of Electak being eliminated, at least for now. The Pian is escaping to the bottom here. The other Pian uh, peasant, of course, is still up here. This is another cool beast scouting. He's making some space here. I think this should be enough for a Burrow. In the meantime, you know, the rest of the Orc army slowly continues harassing or taking down the human buildings. And still 112 gold remaining for Nap, so he can build something more at the bottom of the map here. There is one PN, by the way, by uh, Lake Duck down here, and the other one is here. I think there's on there are only two PNs left for him. Blade Master at the same time taking down these this building slowly but steadily, and let's see if he's gonna get this peasant as well. I mean, the Great Hall is going to be cancelled, but the Wormel down here is still going to survive as there's no more damage output of the uh, human player down there. Of course, there was also a um, PN up here producing the Great Hall, but that one was doomed uh, as soon as the human army was heading there. Once again, one peasant and one PN have found each other here, and it is the PN who's on the run as the Blade Master is heading down there to get the peasant killed. And of course, this PN is extremely important to Electak as... Once this is down, and the peon here is scouted, this peon here is gonna be the last one able to build another building for him. And there's actually another cool beast coming in from, uh, from the human player from Naps, and he's gonna find the peon apparently, which is of course horrible news. He like that scallop makes something happen. He just got over 160 gold again, thanks to his uh, grunts harassing here. And there are actually only five buildings left for the human player. So slowly he's gonna run in trouble as well. The peon repairing with everything he's got is gonna win him like a second or so. And water metal already heading down towards the burrow. It looks like the damage output by this Kurbis is not enough. But the water metal is it gonna get ensnared? Actually, looks like it's not gonna get ensnared. At the same time, still the four buildings left. The TC is far off from having a shockwave available. And the water metal is gonna run in and it's gonna be enough to cancel this building here. And it looks like Elake Duck is going to lose the first map to his opponent, to Nap. So he's gonna take the 1-0 lead in this best of three. Um, in a very <laughs> unconventional and not that unclose game after Elake Duck, you know, having you know, the most horrible of early games possible. More or less, at least, getting his uh, beast trees cancelled basically over and over again. And with Naps having that strong push, Electak made the decision to go for the base trade and it almost worked out for him. Um, second map was played on Secret Valley. Unfortunately, I've said it in the announcement video. Unfortunately, that is one of the maps I do not have available. So I'm just going to tell you the result right now. Um, it was Orc against Night Elf. So Naps switching his race, even though he won with Human here on the first map. And he Lake Duck took that match. He tied the series. And that's where we're going to come in again with map 3, which is going to be Tarina Stand. And which is going to decide this best of three so I'll see you for uh, that one